<clears throat> and welcome back again to the Electrician's 2 channel. Today I just want to, we're going to do a, another review with the new uh, Ideal 61-557 ACDC uh, continuity and voltage tester. We're going to compare it with the Fluke uh, T-Pro electrical tester. Now, the Fluke has been out for a number of years, this, 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 this Fluke electrical tester. Uh, this has been out, at least I've, I've had it for a little under a week now. Uh, it's new to the market. I've done a video on it before, uh, comparing it against other voltage testers. And um, today is uh, the Fluke's turn to compare it with this ideal uh, for this testing. So, I'm gonna start with the fluke and give you the my likes and dislikes about it. And we'll do the same with the ideal. Now, the fluke, this, this is, in fact, this is my everyday carry, this, and I also carry my fluke, uh, 376 clamp meter. That's my everyday carry I have in my bag. Uh, I like it. I like this. I like the the size. I like the, the convenience of it. It has all the functions that I need for basic electrical testing. Um, it has a backlight. It has a, wait, I have a backlight. It, have a, it has a work light. It has a a resistance has a GFCI uh, tester, has a hole button, and it has these numbers up here, and it has a digital uh, display. Now, uh, this is okay, you know. I don't. It's okay, just the numbers up here. But what I, what really I like about it, the digital display, uh, the analog, the lighting up here. That's 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 something extra, but it's you know it, it is what it is, and also. I like the, the thickness, the heavy dutyness of the test leads and probes. Now, I like the fact that it can sit it right here in the back. You know, a protective a storage a compartment for the for the uh, for the, the leads. And I also like the fact that you have to put it up here if I'm making a measurement. And I like the idea that if I'm inside of a panel, I can it all, my hands is not so close to you know, to the danger zone. It's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of back, you know, I can use this and I can test uh, ground and hot, you know, ground and hot. So that's, that's nice also. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I do like it. I do like it. Now, the price, it's not, it's, it wasn't cheap and it wasn't really expensive either. Uh, I think out of the gate, you may pay a little over a hundred something dollars for it. Uh, you know, someplace maybe a hundred and twenty dollars for it. Um, when they first hit the market, is it worth it? Yeah, I ain't know. Yeah, I ain't know. You know, but uh, I got it, and um, you know, it's, it's, it it serves me well. It came in. Uh, it showed up when I needed it to show up. And I uh, it, it it served to me well, and it, it's rated for um, 600 volt cat four, thousand volt cat two, and um, like I said, digital display. Let me just turn it on for you guys. I'll give you that right here. It's not showing me anything, but I can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just plug it inside of this. Uh, this tested, I mean, I just receptacle that I have right here. That's what it gives you. It gives you uh, the display. As, let me see. Display as well as uh, this little tone beeper is going off. And this is the back light right here. This, this has a light on it too. You just can't, let me just turn the light on so you can see. Kind of doing some justice in this. You really can't see it. 
I hope you guys can see it. It's not, it's not really bright at all. It's not really bright. So, uh, it's not really bright at all, but it's there. And now it's showing me 125 on the screen and it's showing me 120 up here, AC. And, and it's giving me that this, this high voltage, uh, you know, indication or indicator right here. So this is what you get with the fluke for over a hundred dollars. Now, keep in mind, you can find them on eBay probably right now, a little under ninety dollars, because these have been out a while. But you know, it's still a it's 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 still a good formidable. I mean, it's a meter, a tester. I I think it'll still hold its own. Now, let's talk about the ideal. Again, for uh, this ideal, uh, it's small. It's not as big as the fluke. As you see in size, it's not as big as the fluke. And as far as wide, I'm not sure. As far as thickness, it's a little, you know, it's a little thicker. But for, as far as wide, let me see. I'm gonna put it like this, and you guys can take a look. Hey, as far as wide is concerned, it's probably just a, this is a little smaller, about a hair smaller down here, but this fluke is more like a pear. It gets small at the top, so, but down here, it's, it's still a good size, even though if it is a, a size, a little tad bit bigger than this, uh, tad bit bigger than the ideal. Now, the ideal, I like the roll boot. Um, this is this protect, protective boot right here. I like it. I don't know. I've never dro dropped this before, but if I had to say if this if this fluke was to drop on the concrete, I, I really think it would do it some damage. Um, so uh, this one, I think if it drop, I really think it's, it'll survive. It'll survive um, a fall. Um, so, and this one has a non-contact voltage uh, detector on it. It also has uh, a GFCI tester, like the Fluke. It has uh, voltage AC-DC, the Fluke does too. Um, it has continuity. It has a low, o, a low OZ um, um, feature also measurement on here. It has a backlight, which is, uh, I mean, I think it's on now. Yeah, it's on now for those who haven't seen it before. Let me turn it turn it off as you can see what I'm talking about. The backlight, let me see. That's the backlight. And uh, it has a work light. That's the work light. Let me just compare it with the Fluke. Side by side, that's the fluke, and this is the ideal as you see. Okay, um, turn this back on, and they have a uh, said non contact voltage and um, backlight, work light. And what I also like about this one is I, if I was test testing receptacles. I can put this in here like this, uh, this, and put the other one on this side. And they have those, they have them lined up perfectly to fit right into a receptacle. Right into a receptacle, I like that. And uh, also I love this, uh, this, this, this magnetic strap did not come with this, this meter, but they had a little, thing on the back right here, like a little mount that fit perfectly, that fit this uh, adapter, per this hanging strap perfectly. Now this hanging strap belongs to Klein too, but it fit this thing perfectly along with the magnet. So I just put it on and I glued it on there because, you know, I, uh, let me turn this light off. I just put it on there because um, I'm not planning on taking, you know, it, it was holding on there, but it was kind of sliding off and I didn't want to lose it. So I glued it on there, I super glued it on, I hot glued it on there with my hot glue gun. 
and um, it holds perfectly. This is, it holds it perfectly. So, um, you know, this and the price of this thing right here for, was like 40, $39, yeah, $39 for this. Um, and let me just, they have the, the little protective shroud caps on here. Uh, let me give it, put it, let me test it for you to show you how it look when you, when you're testing something. Okay, one second, y'all. Okay, that's it right there. And the backlight is on. So, that's it. The, the screen itself, so, you know, it's big enough. The test leads here, it's not the best in the world, but they are pretty decent for the price of this meter. You know, I can see myself keep using them, uh, uh, keeping these for use of, with this uh, tester right here. Uh, so, yeah, they're pretty decent. They're pretty decent. I'll put these back on before I misplace them. So, uh, so this little tester right here compared to the fluke now everybody knows the fluke is the one to beat and um, but I do like my fluke I do like my fluke and I like the ideal now hmm it's going to be kind of hard again out of these two um, I know there's a lot of people out here that probably like this little tester right here and but I have to go with my I have to go with this idea over the fluke I'm a, I, would, I would pick this one over the fluke first of all um, you get more features. You get uh, the price, uh, the build quality, and uh, yeah, and that's it. This cost at least three times more than this one. And compared to this one, you get less features. Uh, this one is three times less than this price. Again, you get you get more features, and uh, you know I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be around for a while. I think if you had this in your in, in your bag, you're gonna be around for a while. And not to mention, I just happen to have an extra uh, ideal bag to put it in. This one did not come with a bag. It don't come with, with a bag at all. But I just happen to have one uh, that fits it perfectly, and. Um, there you go. The fluke don't fluke don't have a bag, but I do have a pouch that I keep it in that fits this perfectly. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a zippered pouch. I do have a zippered pouch, but uh, I have a pouch that's on the side of my work bag that I had mounted on the side of my work bag, and it, you know it's okay. But uh, this is nice to carry around. It's closed up, keeping it protected. Um, keeping all the dust out of the, of the important areas. So, uh, this, this is my choice out of these two. Now, you gotta, you know, you look at, look at the fact, ideal, they're not new to the market as far as making voltage testers. This is the first one I've seen that they made uh, that has a digital display. And even though that they're new to the market with this new digital display, you know, they, um, this thing is well, when they built it, it was well thought out. They are giving you a lot of extra stuff that you don't normally, Fluke tried it, and uh, some of the other, other ones do too. You know, they tried to put the GFCI test, but they, they went a step further with the low Z on here, the non-contact, well, no, some of them got the, the, the non-contact voltage, but um, the low Z is one of them. And uh, the non-contact voltage detector on here as well. That's another one. 
and it's hanging strap. That's another feature that the rest of them don't have. So, um, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, uh, leave a comment. Hit that like button, that, sus that subscribe button. And if you have a friend out there or anybody you know that could benefit from watching this video here, uh, share it with them. And, uh, you know, and maybe they'll leave a comment. And um, But with that being said, guys, I'm, I'm out of here. You guys take care and peace out.